Listen very carefully. Prophecy is very powerful. It not only reveals, it can create. The most superior dimension of the prophetic is not the revelatory dimension. I demonstrated this yesterday. The most superior dimension of the prophetic is the grace that makes us what has no business happening to happen by this time tomorrow. He was not revealing what would happen. He made it happen. The Lord wants to make things happen in our lives now. And he said, Son of man, can these bones live again? And the prophet said, only thou knowest. Listen, the prophetic is powerful. Now, I, I know and I agree that it has been insulted here and there. And there has been exaggerations and people have handled the prophetic without character. And people have done a lot of things and even dabbled into all kinds of activities of divination. I know the church is like a patient. However, Christ is still in the midst of her. But please do not make the mistake of believing that just because there are perversions here and there, every manifestation of the prophetic is ungodly. You are wrong if you think so. There are people who have paid the price and by the privilege of the election of grace, they've been vested with the ability to create possibilities over the lives of others. Can I pray for you? I stand as one who is sent by the privilege of God's grace in agreement with the angel over this house. The man that God has set and so honored yet again tonight. And in the name of Jesus, I cry that my father, who is my maker and the maker of men, that you would hearken to every word. Now I decree over this auditorium, London, hear me. I stand in the name of Jesus. Every closed door over your life, over your destiny, I speak. A fata be open. A fata be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Financial doors open. Spiritual doors be open. Career doors be open. I shift you by prophecy. Step into new levels. Step into new dimensions. I shift you overnight. Step into prepared blessings. Number two, the Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Listen, there are men called destiny helpers. They have an assignment. They are mandated and authorized to hold your hand and lift you to the next level. I prophesy to the north of London, the south, the east, the west, Everywhere the helpers of your destiny are, in three months, 90 days, by the spirit of prophecy, like the ark of God in the house of Robert Edom, I call them, show up now. Destiny helpers, show up now. Destiny helpers, show up now. Listen, once upon a time, the Bible says, Elisha was with the sons of the prophet. And he said, where we meet with you is too straight. Let us go beyond the Jordan. And while they were felling the trees, the axe head fell. And he said, alas, master, for it was borrowed. Let me prophesy, because there are people here under financial pressure. And listen, I respect the laws of economics. But from scripture, every time a man was under any kind of pressure, it took prophecy to bring them out. Therefore, I speak to your bills. I speak to your finances. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, rise to a new level. I shift you to a new level. Please believe it.
financially in the name of Jesus I call for help us I cause debt I cause financial troubles in the name of Jesus hallelujah please look at me the psalmist said many a day that rise up against me it says many a day that say where is your help but then he says but thou O lord art a shield for me he says you are my glory help me and the lifter up i pray whatever has brought you down in the name of jesus may the lifter of men lift you tonight may the lifter of men lift you tonight liberty church london rise to a new level hallelujah hallelujah revelation chapter one he said i john was in the spirit on the lord's day and he went to the throne room and then chapter one chapter two chapter three he had revelations but when we get to chapter four he hears a voice even in heaven and it says come up here no matter what level you have gotten to in life there is still space for more therefore i speak to you liberty church london europe in the name of jesus come up here rise to a new level arise shine arise shine arise shine arise shine in the name of jesus listen the donkey of saul gets missing and for three days they keep looking for that donkey and they cannot find it and then the servant says there is a man of god samuel let us go to that holy man of god the moment samuel meets david saul he said is it not because the lord has anointed you to be king over israel and he pronounced three blessings number one he said the donkey that is missing has been back home let me call what has left your life that should not have left relationships resources in the name of jesus everything that has left your life by the power of prophecy it returns back to you tonight it returns back to you tonight in the name of jesus hallelujah number two he told him he said as you go back you will see three men each holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and give to you somebody say favor i decree and declare over your life someone must love you enough to invest in your success this season receive favor obtain grace and favor esther 2 verse 15 i speak it over your life carry that anointing favor in the morning favor in the afternoon favor in the evening in the name of jesus number three he said you will come to the garrison of the philistines and there the hand of the lord will come upon you and when you read in the later verses they said he saw also one of the prophets i want to speak over your life london as we wrap up this conference every dimension you have desired spiritually financially in the name of jesus i agree with your pastor by the power that raised christ from the dead receive that grace now help them please receive that grace now hallelujah let me give you two instructions number one please ensure that the fire on your altar never goes down some of you will need to go back home and husband wife you need to talk about it 
we must come up with a program for our spiritual development. It is no longer going to be haphazard. What do we do in the morning? What do we do in the night? Some of you need to go back and come up with an intentional program for your spiritual growth. You're not going to open the Bible at random and just read anything. No. Make up your mind to know the Lord. Make up your mind to invest in your spirit. Make up your mind to buy books. Your pastor has got some books. They are rich materials. You can get it, listen to it. He says, and that from a child, thou hast known the Holy Scripture that is able to make you wise unto salvation. Number two, make up your mind that you're going to be connected as much as possible to what God is doing in and through this ministry. You see, let me tell you, and, and I believe this, and this is not, I've, I've not even spoken with pastor. I believe, listen to me, I believe that God sends people to ministries and connects them there. Are we together now? It is sometimes you can choose based on what you want. I like this man, but there is the connection of destiny. You will need to locate yourself with the grace, the grace that is responsible for your lifting. When God called Samuel, he used the voice of Eli. He did not use an echo. They that be planted in the house of God, they shall flourish in the courts of our God. Even in old age, the Bible says they will be fat and flourishing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.